Hello and welcome to the 8th Android video. In this video we are going to dive into a little bit more about Java and we are going to create a countdown timer. In order to do this we will need to create a thread. Basically it is an object that can call a method multiple times. First of all make sure that your uh, compilator is running with an JDK version that is above 1.5. We can do this by going to Project, Properties, and then Java Compiler. Make sure that this is set to 1.6 at, at least, otherwise it will return an error when you try and run the thread. So make sure you have changed that. First of all, we are going to create some variables. We are going to create a private int that is called number. This is going to represent what time it is on the timer. We need to define a text field which we created in which I created in the XML file. So text view text field we're going to name it. Sorry. Let's just import this. Then we are going to create something called a handler. And just name it handler. I'm going to import that too. And lastly, we will create a boolean, which is something that is either true or false. We're going to name it running and we're going to set it to true. Now we have every variable we need, so we're going to go ahead and define our objects. Our text field is going to be equal to text view find view by id r dot id dot tv timer. I created a, I created a text view in our XML file that is called tvt tvt timer. Our handler is simply going to be a new handler. And this will allow us to change the UI of our application from a thread. We already set running to true, so we don't have to do that now. We're going to create something called a runnable, which is basically a command that will be run, run for our thread. New runnable. to override this I will get into more why we have to override a method in a later video but we're going to skip that for now so we're going to create a void called run and as long as running is true while running as long as running is true this piece will be executed inside our thread so we're going to try and make our thread sleep this is in milliseconds which we're going to define we're going to set it to one second so our timer is correct then we have to type in 1000 1000 millisecond is equal to one second basically this will make our thread sleep for one second and then execute the code again Catch. This is just something you have to include in every thread. It basically executes a message into your into your logcat when something goes wrong. If you don't include this, you get an error. So let's see. Now get that. Then we are just going to pass our information into a new runnable. I'm going to override the method again. I'm 
this this is the code that will be executed inside our thread as well as this but this will be the actual information that we're going to change the UI with so every time the thread is run we are going to set our number to plus one to increase the number by one and then we're going to change the text of our timer so text field dot set text equals to string dot value of number so it will change the text field to the value of our number and it will increase by one every second sorry we need to remove this parenthesis and do this and we're going to do that and in order to close off all the brackets now we are actually going to create the thread that will be run and we are going to start it we're going to type in new run new thread for our thread of course and then we're going to set it to dot start so it will start the thread and it will be run if it is still running which we defined up here running equals to true it will keep on doing this forever if we for some reason wanted to close the thread we would just have to set running to false for example when we press a button so we're now going to run our project and see if it works correctly just give me a second to start up everything this is our application running as you can see it updates every second as we wanted it to everything works as it should that was all for this video thank you for watching i have some exercises at the end of the video if you want to try to do something a little bit more complex on your own if you run, run into any problems just post a comment below and i will help you so this is our two exercises the first one is that you should make a timer that starts when you press a button and if you want to also end when you press another button I would also like you to try and do a timer that counts both seconds and minutes. That was all for this video. Thank you a lot for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe to the channel and maybe give the videos a thumbs up. So thank you again. Bye bye.